How good's this view? So we are at Dorigo South, which is at Inskip. Um, and Nick came up Thursday afternoon. I came up Friday after work. Nick snagged the best spot. So happy. Look how good it is. Well done, Nicholas. It is a great little spot. We did snag a really good setup here. Neighbours are well and truly far enough away so that we can't see them and they can't see us and you can't hear anything. And it really does feel like we have this spot to ourselves, and that is really good for a weekend just to disconnect and you know get away and that's what it's all about having exactly. this stuff. and we've had to not um have the generator at all because we've got the new battery yes we do so when did we update that uh the battery turned up about four weeks ago um so what we did we opted to go with a 200 amp lithium and a dryer battery so that we know we've got plenty of uh, power when we're out here off grid. And we're also putting an RV80 plus board in, uh, which just arrived this week. So we didn't actually have time to get that installed, but we will be doing that over the next couple of weeks in between a, a, few, a few other little things that we've got going on at home. But next time we uh, head out off road, we will have that all connected up into the van. But what we've also done, we've chucked on an additional solar panel and we've moved the battery. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump up out of the seat and I'm going to come around here. Jess will pass the camera up. We have chucked on an additional 250 watt solar panel. And that's in addition to the one at the back. That's right. On it's the got toilet. The it's got the standard, I think it's a 150 or a 160, I, I don't really know off the top of my head. But we've utilised that one too on the back of the toilet. So at the moment we have about 400 watts of solar panel power to charge our battery. I think we've been going down to about 90, 87% after, at night time. So when we wake up the next day, that's what we're down. And since we've been here, we have been fully charged by about 9 30 10 o'clock in the morning so that's 100 percent battery so it charges so much quicker like when we had that standard agm battery that came with the jaco van i just found that that system just wasn't really charging all that well i don't know whether it was a solar panel we could never really work it out put the solar blanket on and that management system was telling us you know that things weren't charging up or you know they're always about 70 50 percent so that lithium battery really does work well i'm really happy that's one of the best purchases I've all right ever made. show us what you've done then righto let's go so most people know that who have a jaco the battery is stored down underneath here where that gray tarp is i've ripped that box out we're still utilizing this j35 so that's pretty much our 12 volt system hub, just like the, the fuse box. So we're just reusing that so we didn't have to touch any of the wiring. We pulled the battery out of there and I have relocated it over to this space here, which I think is a bit of a dead space because I don't like lifting the seat up all the time <laughs> to get stuff out from storage. So, And it's also balancing the weight out a little. Yeah, that's right. So we've decided to put this battery in underneath here. And I, that, that standard uh, AGM battery, that weighed an absolute ton. That was, I reckon, nearly 40 kilos. Um, and anyone that's got the, the cross track know that they do sit a little bit to the right because everything seems to be on, on that right-hand side of the van when you're looking at it. You've got your kitchen, you've got your fridge, you've got everything over there. So that has taken about 40 kilos away. And anybody that has two batteries, well, that's going to be 80 kilos. Moved it over here. So that's distributed a bit more weight over to the right. Um, these lithium batteries, I think this lithium battery is only about 22 kilos. Correct me if I'm wrong, somewhere around there. I can't remember off the top of my head, but hell of a lot lighter uh, than the AGM and hell of a lot better too. Um, what I've also done is installed the inverter, 2000 watt inverter. One of the most important things for me when I'm away is having a coffee, which I can run my little coffee machine over there. So 
every day when I'm away camping, I can have a beautiful made coffee. And that's one of the most important things for me when Proper I'm away. Proper coffee. Proper Nespresso coffee. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and as I said at the start there, we've got the RV80 Plus board. So that's all the DC to DC charger, the 240 volt charger. Um, it's got a battery shunt and monitor, so we can see what's going on, input, outputs, all that sort of thing. And what we're going to do, just put this back, is that's actually going to be installed. I'm just going to put that right here on the face here, and then we can run everything into it. So that just uh, moves a bit of the weight back onto this right hand side of the van, and I feel that's going to um, work work really <laughs> work really well for us so yeah pretty pretty excited and pretty happy to have all that gear in there um, definitely know we've got the power uh, to be off grid for long extended periods of time so yeah pretty cool very cool and I'm glad you get your coffee machine because otherwise you'll be grumpy no never <laughs> <laughs> cool all right so hopefully we'll uh, get the next thing put in whatever you just said it was <laughs> the um, rv80 plus board <laughs> and then we'll do a little update of it yeah. we're here today we're putting in the new enerdrive rv80 plus board pretty excited to have this little uh, bad boy here going to the van uh, we could have a nice little controller or monitor switch uh, the e-pro so that'll tell us uh, what's exactly going on with our battery system. DC to DC charger, AC charger, a shunt, which will show us what the battery is doing. And we're gonna head inside here. We've got the 200 amp lithium battery already installed, 2000 watt inverter, I've got to chuck a circuit breaker in there. And then, we are mounting the board just here on the inside of the cross track. the RV80 plus board is now installed everything's uh, pretty much connected up to it we've utilized the J35 as our 12 volt hub pretty much so that's running all the lights and all that sort of stuff so that runs back from here all the way back into the RV80 plus I've got a shunt and that's got the battery monitor system which we're going to install out there in the kitchen and then obviously we've got the battery on the other side here, underneath the uh, other side of the wheel arch. Um, we've just got to do the connections onto that. Getting about a, this far. Getting about that far and then she goes a bit sloppy, mate. It goes a bit <laughs> soft. <laughs> Not quite stiff enough. No. All right, so what are we doing? We're running the cable down for the Anderson plug so that we can charge up the battery. Hey, Noah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to feed that down the chassis rail. That is meant to come out just here. But Pete's going a bit soft. And he 
can't get it through. Oh, are you serious? Come on. Look at that. Nothing on the end. Tell I'm not a sparky. Attempt number two. Hold on. Oh, it's just gonna get past the um, There we go. Yes, we finally got it through. What we're going to do that uh, cable that we just ran through the chassis rail, we're going to run it through this gland here. So that will give it a nice seal. We'll be able to uh, fill it up with Sikaflex. And that just gives us a nice penetration through the floor. So we'll just measure up, insert that gland, pull that cable through, and then we can uh, connect it up to the, uh, to the end drive. Get the drill, battery. Might just get a tape measure, I reckon, because there is a gas pipe underneath <laughs> Murphy's Law. We just go drill on a hole, it's going to go straight into it. So, straight the gas pipe. I'll just go down quick to the shed and I'll grab the tape measure. Like in, in line with the center of the axle, pretty much back 450. We're either going to be on that. Um... I think we'll miss the gas pipe. Miss the gas pipe? Well, what I'll do is I'll unscrew the gas pipe and hang it down. Yep. Pull it down off the ply. Yep. Um, the only thing we've got is that um, beam that runs Cross front beam. and back. The one that runs this way. Yep. What I can do, I'll measure from the edge of the caravan to make it more precise. So we know we've got. 17 bolts coming from the solar. Not even in the sun. <laughs> uh, which fuse? There's that little 40 amp fuse there, and it just goes in below the battery. Oh, those two. Yeah. That's live. It's on. What's it telling us? Oh, lights are on. Lights are on. Rightio yeah, guys, that's all done there with the new battery upgrade. We're really happy uh, with the way the whole install has gone. Uh, we've been pretty lucky to be able to do it ourselves and uh, we've had one of my, um, my brother-in-law come and help me, which was uh, really nice. So thanks Pete. Well done mate, uh, much appreciated. Uh, so just a bit of a recap on what we did. Enter drive 200 amp lithium battery the RV80 Plus board, which has a DC and AC charger on it, and also has an MPPT solar regulator. And you can also run an additional Anderson plug to the drawbar so that it can charge off your car. So yeah, really happy with the way the install has gone. Um, I'm really confident now that we can uh, spend time off grid and you know never really have to worry about the battery power. Uh, we've got plenty of juice there. And most of all, as I've always said, I can have a coffee. Cool. Great. So we got power. We got power. We got power, baby. We got power. So yeah, really happy. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, drop a like and subscribe and uh, share. And we'll uh, see you next time somewhere off-road between the coasts.